Hey, for your show, Bomb the Cover, and I will be your host slash one of the performers tonight. Thank you all for coming out and for taking part in this wonderful event that we like to call No Material, A Night of Nuclear Anxiety. This perfect timing, we was waiting for a sign, and glad you showed up. Open through glasses, I'm bashing racism and classes of black action. Melanated fashion, so to say. Yeah, throw my hands in case the officer want to dance. I'm in my UEP stance. I ain't giving shit a chance. You when they did this. The first song that I, I performed was called New Horizons. It was kind of about um, my life in Virginia. I had a friend that passed away. Uh, the second song was called Infinity, which was kind of like my rising out of that. I'm fresh to New York, so now I'm like in front of this camera right now. <laughs> I'm like, my mind, like, yo, like, I like, still can't believe that I'm here every day. I feel like I'm at point A and I need to get to point C and I don't even know where point B is and so uh, Anchovy, the character Anchovy really just kind of personifies all of my feelings of frustration and anxiety that comes with being an artist in New York City and just you know how the fuck do you make this shit happen for yourself and you know, how do you kick that door down? How do you press that button that seems impossible to press? How do you, uh, how do you eat that cake when you don't have a mouth to feed yourself with? So all these performances have the same thread of frustration and anxiety and just stubbornness to persist, but then also there's a bit of pessimism involved in them as well because a lot of them end with me either giving up or me realizing that there was you know, I managed to reach my goal, but there was nothing there at the end. And so it's also kind of me just kind of like patting myself so that if I do achieve my goals and they're not as grand or as marvelous as I thought they were, then, you know, it's okay. of dance school. I dropped out of fashion school knowing that I really wanted to be a performer I, and I went into burlesque school in Dallas, Texas. Everyone has a very um, specific idea when they think of burlesque. Mine is definitely not traditional. It's I'm a boy, so it's called boylesque actually. I think doing a show like this with tons of variety is so good because it's not just constant stripping, it's not just constant poetry, it's not just constant music. I'm a Libra, so I love balance, and I think that um, the show is like a perfect balance of so many different art forms, and I think it's a great platform for tons of people to get started and to build confidence. Thank you. I've been performing in New York City for 10 years. Played a Radio City Music Hall a few times. It's huge, that's 7,000 people, and the stage is the size of a city block. National Security Command 163-2-8. Now our arms become wings. These these nights are great because I think they fit in with with a, a grand tradition around a collaborative nights in New York. You know, this is something that goes back to the 1920s. You know, whether it was um, jazz musicians convening in Harlem 
or beat poets convening in Greenwich Village in the 1950s, or punk rockers and poetry and poets like Patti Smith having an, uh, a night of variety together in the 70s. I think this fits into that very unique New York spirit of having people from different disciplines come together in collaboration. When I started the show back in September, it was me and another artist and uh, we had the whole gallery to ourselves and the opening reception was so successful. And then uh, my partner, Zachary Allen Starkey, suggested that we put on a performance art night. I found a bunch of like-minded individuals, people that were serious about what they were doing. And that weren't just doing it for like the fame or the attention or the Instagram followers or whatever, but people who had to make art because if they didn't make art, they would just, their brain would explode or something. And, you know, and it just kind of happened and it's gone so much farther than I expected it to go. And I hope it keeps going further than it does. I feel like we're still at the beginning of something. I heard my neighbor have sex the other day. It was horrifying. <laughs> it was like a boom, 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 five minutes. <laughs> um, I feel like women, um, women have so, long of a way to go to learn assertiveness. Are you my bitch boy? Look at this. This is where life come from, okay? This is where you come from. Respect it and eat it. Eat it like you fucking need it. Like, I'm from Asian culture and I came here in America. I used to have a different ideas about American girls being more liberated. I don't understand modesty. I never have balance. Every culture, every beauty standard has imposed on women in different kind of pressures and ways to behave. And it's, a, it's all brainwashing and conditioning. And unless you're, unless you're able to recognize what is conditioned and what is your option, then you can be free from that. Yeah. So fuck you, world. yourself, world. You can't stand on the high ground and tell me shit anymore. I know better. I know myself better. I know how to love myself better. Finally. Amazing small shows like this is what makes great artists like this intimate setting and the diversity of the performers it really puts a new perspective on what art is and what an art and what an artist is I mean I think it's fucking cool that I've been able to do this and uh, create this smaller community and stuff and it's you know, I grew up reading stuff about stories about, you know, artists living in the Chelsea Hotel and creating their own communities and Andy Warhol's factory and all these artists coming together and creating something bigger than themselves and creating a community where they can all just like live and thrive. And now it's like, oh no, there's there's all these people that are coming out that want to watch us and you know, want to watch us do all of our weird shit and stuff, and that's great. That's re really reassuring about the world and stuff. So. Yeah.